All right, here's a look at the Teen Life Application Study Bible from Tyndale. This is in the New Living Translation. This is the Teal Ephesians 3 19 edition. It's a beautiful synthetic material. The uh, Bible verse impressed into the cover with the words love and life in gold. Perimeter edge stitching. The gold gilding is really nice. Nothing you wouldn't expect from Tyndall. There is no art gilding. You can see the page edges are just uh, colored from the, the different graphics on each page. And you have one ribbon. This is a sewn edition. So let's take a look inside of this edition. You can see the paste down liner is like a nice tan color. Here's your publication page. Uh, the, this is adapted from the student's Life Application Study Bible from 2004. You can see all the different ISBN numbers there. But this is a 2019 printing. You have a contents page and then a user's guide. So the user's guide, what you can expect, uh, it's good to read this little, it's like a half page altogether. Uh, then you have an explanation of the features. Now these are key. Instead of traditional notes like you'd find in a normal life application study Bible, you have these features. You have book, book introductions, life application notes, but you have a lot of personality profiles, a lot of these choices, maps, charts. You have key verses, which are really cool. The my stories are key, ultimate issues, helping you divide rightly what is worthy of concern or, or attention and i wonder what your key questions uh, so when trying to decide if this bible is right for your teenager do they like digging in with notes or do they like examples or do they need graphs and little breaks in study and that's what these different features do they give them something different a different kind of graphic to gravitate toward so they're not overcome by an astounding amount of notes. Now we come to the look at the book section, which just gives you a glimpse at different stories in the Bible. So uh, it points out uh, different stories and it asks a key question uh, where a student can find specific stories in the Bible or answer specific questions. It's about 12 pages. Uh, Old and New Testament all together, and uh, very, very helpful. Now we come to the Finding Faith section, uh, which is really cool, and it helps the student, the teenager, uh, really uh, learn what their own faith is about and how to share faith with others. Uh, you have a section for helping, uh, help for new believers, which is really neat. Uh, 14 Encounters with God. Introduction to the New Living Translation. Then you'll get to the text. At the beginning of each chapter, you'll have a book introduction. Now on the far margin, you'll have a stats section of the margin, which will have a lot of important information, the purpose of the Bible, the author, time frame, and then you have the all important timeline. Then you see the uh, book introduction itself, the paragraph explaining uh, what's going on in this book you have the key points then you have key places now one knock i have on this i really think it needed to have some color uh, kids attention span it, it lasts about as long as their age so uh, if a, a 13 or 14 year old you got 13 or 14 minutes so things that have color seem to grab attention and restart that clock over again so if you have a colorful map and some, some cool graphics pointing out different places, that's more interesting uh, than something black and white. Now, this is very useful. It's just not as interesting. And I think interesting is key for kids. 
Now here's an example of the text. It's a double column paragraph format. I do like the double column because it breaks up the words per line. But here's your notes in the corner. That's all the notes you get for this section. Genesis 1, you'll have, usually you'll have one little strip of, of scripture and tons of notes. So I'm glad that they didn't go overboard with the notes. You have ultimate issues. Like this is a big section. Uh, days of creation is a, is a graph. You get just as much on the days of creation as you do the notes. Now I think that's a good thing. I think that is, that's what's needed for a teenager. You need things like these, but I really think they need to be in color so they're more interesting. If it's more interesting, they might spend more time in it. And that's the whole point of this Bible is so that kids can relate to the scriptures. And that's where I feel these, these application notes and all these different features uh, come in and, and they're really key. Here's an example of a small map, Abraham's trip to Mount Moriah. That is a tiny map, very uh, nice to have it, but it's not in color. I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be to a teenager if it's not larger. And I know that there are a lot of larger maps within this Bible. But if you're considering buying this Bible for your teenager, uh, just kind of know who your teenager is. If they need color and things to be interesting and visually uh, grabbing, then this might not be the right one. But if they like digging in with different applications and different stories, this might be perfect for them. You can see a lot of those features that I've highlighted earlier, uh, just shown throughout the every page turn. You can see one little snippet of notes uh, for these sections of the Psalms, which I think that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not having tons and tons of notes. It is a black letter text, as you can see there in John. And we'll get to the back and you'll have all these indexes. All right, so we're at the end of Revelation 22 and we immediately turn to the index section. These indexes are great. They're so awesome and helpful, but they're in the back. Why aren't these indexes in the front? When kids open the Bible and they have an, a question about approval, they don't want to open to the back and then back to the front. Uh, put this right around that the very beginning sections um, so that so that they already know where they can turn to to answer questions this is the life choices index and and it goes through obviously the life choices then you'll come to the features index and you have all those different features uh, that were mentioned at the beginning of the bible uh, you have them indexed here which that's why i think this also needs to be in the front this is an explanation of this feature, choices, and here are the page numbers and topics of each choice. Here is the explanation of the feature of the I wonder feature, and here are the questions, and here's the page number. I think those are hugely helpful, and those features are what makes this Bible useful. If you divide and separate the, the usability of these features, uh, then you kind of take away a lot of the functionality of this edition for the teenager. All right, at the end of the features index, you have the where to find it. This also, I think, needs to be in the front. Kids are more reactive. I mean, they're going to they're gonna have something happen at school and they're going to come home and want to make sense of it. They're not going to have a, a standardized method of study like you or I might. I think that's why these things need to be in the front. And then you have a uh, maps section, which is just a few maps, but they're also in color, which is awesome. This needs to be what they look like throughout the Bible. These editions retail for $45 and they're on sale right now for about a little under 30. I'll have a link in the description if you want to purchase one. All right, one other thing before I let you guys go. Uh, this is called the Teen Life Application Study Bible. I don't know about your teens, but I have a preteen that wants to be an adult. So she doesn't really want things that say teen on them. She doesn't want to be considered a teen. She wants to be an adult. So I think uh, you kind of limit your market by, by labeling it teen. Uh, when it was previously the student uh, life application study Bible, 
uh, then or maybe you can make it the foundations life application study Bible something like that something that's that's not uh, restricting of the market uh, so right now this is a teen life application study Bible and it's the color teal you know you are condensing your market size down to girls that are age 12 to 19 and most 19 year olds and 16 17 year olds are going to be into an adult Bible something that's going to be more suited to adult situations if you renamed it something like foundations uh life application study bible or basics or something like that then you can market it in you know toward uh you know a younger audience or an older audience so someone that's 25 this bible might be very helpful for uh, that's a very new in 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 the faith they're not going to have this bible because it says teen life application study bible so the market's kind of restricted. Again, I feel like the indexes need to be in the front and there needs to be more color within the edition. Or right, nonetheless, all these features within this Bible are great. And that's kind of the building blocks that make this Bible useful. As always, if you're interested in checking out this Bible for purchase, I've got a link in the description. And please don't forget to uh, like the video if it's helpful and subscribe to the channel and also click the notification tab so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys again for watching. God bless.